Good morning, Panthers. I'm Bryce Newby. And I'm Brianna Wood. Reporting from Channel J106 for Prowler TV. Our Rich Point FFA radio team, consisting of Maddie Roberts, Mackenzie Lewis, Cameron Kelly, and Abby Knox, will be competing in the Texas FFA State LDE competition today, and we wish them the best of luck. Also, we want to congratulate the 16 choir members who advance one more step closer to All State. The final All State members will be announced in January, and to see the list of those who advance to the third round, make sure you check the Prowler. Every year, teachers are nominated for the Teacher of the Year Award. This year's nominees were Senora Press White, Ms. Brown, and Dr. Dutta. His Madeline writes for the video on the winner. Hello Panthers, I'm Madeline Rice reporting for Channel J106 for Prowler TV. Here is Dr. Pampa Dutta, the winner of 2014 Ridgepoint Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Dr. Datta. I am teaching at Richpoint uh, Pre-AP and AP Chemistry and also regular chemistry some year. I'm very happy to be a part of Richpoint family because this is my favorite place to stay. That, it that is, teaching is my passion. I love it. It's not my job. I never considered this as a job because I feel that way that as long as I love to teach, I will teach. The day I don't enjoy this process, I'm going to walk out from this because here I am for the kids. So if kids are not happy with me, then obviously I have no role to play in the school. Thanks, Madeline. Here's Shane Gosson with the sports. Hi, I'm Shane Gosson, reporter for Channel J106 for Pilot TV. And this week we have a very quiet week in sports. However, the varsity boys basketball team will be having a tournament in Beaumont, as well as the girls having a tournament in Katy. Also, if you want to see the district awards for volleyball and football, check the Pilot. Back to you, Brianna. Thanks, Shane. Speech of the Bay will be competing in the A League tournament this weekend, so make sure you wish them good luck. Thanks, Bryce. All right, you guys, the Student Council toy drive ends today, so make sure you turn in your toys to the correct organization's box by the end of the day. Tomorrow, there will be SAT testing here at Richmond at 8 o'clock, so good luck to all the testers. And Monday, Computer Science Club and Student Club will be having their regular weekly meetings. We now pass it off to our weatherman, Brandon Cho. Thank you, Brianna. I'm Brandon Schultz here with the weekend weather. Today we have a high of 74, a low of 64, with a 60% chance of rain. Tomorrow we have a high of 71, a low of 58, with a 40% chance of rain. And on Sunday we have a high of 64, a low of 54, with a 30% chance of rain. Back to you, Bryce. Let's get Thanks, Brandon. Now on to a more serious note. On Sunday, December 7th, 1941, America's naval base at Pearl Harbor was attacked by aircrafts and in some Marines of the Imperial Japanese. This tragic event took the lives of 2,403 American military personnel and citizens and injured 1,178 others. This Sunday on National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, take time to remember those who were injured and those who lost their lives. Take time to reflect and give thanks for the veterans and also thank those who are serving our country today to keep us safe. Well, that's all for us, Panthers. Reporting for Channel J106, I'm Bryce Newby. And I'm Brianna Wood. Have a great day, Panthers. My name is Ryan Heller, and my last story is starts back in elementary. I was... I mean, I'm never physically, but I was verbally bullied a lot as a child because I was this weird ADHD kid that was out of control, was hyper, and I stuttered a lot. No one really wanted to be around me. And saying a little bit in middle school when I knew it was bad, but I've had to overcome so much in my life. And, you know, anybody can overcome obstacles in life if, if, if they really want to, you know, if they really work hard. So my message is just go out there and work hard.